What's up everybody, Derek here with The Bass Factory and today I'm going to be fishing four hidden ponds that I found on Google Maps. This is just one of them. Um, these ponds are all near my house and I wanted to come see what they look like. Uh, this one actually is the one really hidden one. Um, there's three other ones that are further out in a green belt that is right next to a subdivision across from where I live. And this one is actually really shadow. It looks muddy, but I know there's got to be some fish in here. And I know there's some other fish down in there. Because the time that I actually found these on Google Maps, I just drove by and there was a bass sitting up shallow. So let's come out here and see if we can catch some fish. I've got some rebel fishing lures. I'm going to start off with a crank that I've had really good luck with lately. All right, it's, oh, lots of minnows. Whole lot of minnows right there. Oh, that was a bite. There's a bite. Oh my gosh, what was that? That was a bass. That bass just broke me off. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, I feel bad. That bass has got that crankbait stuck in his mouth now. Gah. All right, I just retied with the crick hopper. I feel bad that that bass broke off and it's in its mouth. It was maybe a one pound bass. It wasn't really, really big, but it was nice to get something, but this line should not have broken. Uh, this is 10 pound braid and that thing snapped just so easily. So I cut about another six foot of line off there and retied again. So hopefully that does not happen again, but let's catch, that makes me want to catch a bass now. All right, let's give this a try again. Oh, there's fish jumping way on the other side. There's fish jumping all over over there. Let's see if we can catch something. We know bass are in here now. And with all this grass surrounding this entire little pond, this crick hopper might be on fire. I don't know, we'll just have to see. Let's see how it does. It doesn't have as quite, man, there are some fish over there popping. Oh, there's a fish right there. There's a fish, what do we got? Oh, is that a red ear? Man. Look at the size of that sucker. Cool, that is a big one. Man, I thought that was a bass that just hit. Oh, I might need pliers for this one. I need pliers for this one. It's too far down in there and I can't grab it. Let go of it, buddy. Man, I gotta set that down. Look at the size of that. That is a huge one. All right, guys, I, I wanna say red breast, but Jeez, that's a big one. I mean, look how fat it is. I want to say that's a red breast. Let me know, guys, in the comment section. I want to... Oh, I'm going to have to go and look. Yep, I don't care. It's a good fish, no matter what it is. Thanks, buddy. What is going on today with the airplanes? Oh, there's a fish. Oh, I had a good one. That was a good one. Man. Let's see if we can get one right here. Right up shallow along that grass line. Oh. 
that plane, plane, that F-16 just banked right over the top of me. That is crazy. Come on. I know you're in here. Here comes another one. Look at that. I don't know if that's picking up, but that sucker is banking. Right over me. I'm gonna try right in front of me here. Right off the edge of this grass. Seems like I caught that sunfish right in this area and I caught that bass that broke off. Oh, right there. Oh, that was a fish right there. Dang it, this is one of the areas they're hanging in, I guess. Man. It was just on there for a split second, but I never got it hooked, I guess. All right, I'm gonna put it right over there and just slow roll it and see what happens. I still got three more ponds I can hit up. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, it came off again. Dang it. What is happening? Now that's four bites. I don't get it. How am I missing these fish? If they're taking this thing and yanking on it like that, there, right there. There, I got that one. Oh, what was that? That almost looked like a big shad. I don't know what that was. May be able to uh, slow-mo instant replay on that one to see what it was. I don't know. Pond number two. Let's see if anything's in here. I still got that creek hopper tied on. Huh. There's a fishing pole in here. What kind is that? It's like a Shimano. Okay, let's go right down this bank. See what happens if we go straight down this bank. See if there's a fish just sitting there waiting to hit. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, that was a fish. That felt like a pretty good fish too. All right, this is pond three. Let's see if anything lives in here. There's definitely turtles, but this is some dirty looking water. All right, here's the fourth and final pond. Not as big as the other ones, but it is a lot more clear. For some reason there's grass in here and the other ones don't have grass, so I don't, I don't understand that since they're only about 50 yards, all of them from each other, so kind of weird. Well, I had a ton of fun on these little ponds, but only one of them really produced. And it was actually back in there. It was hidden in the woods back in there. And I caught that huge sunfish uh, that you guys, I think that was a red breast. Let me know in the comment section again. And I caught that one bass right off the bat that actually broke my line and probably still has that crankbait in its mouth. But those are the only two fish I really got. I've had a bunch of hits. I probably had five hits, but I could never get a hook up on that crick hopper. I don't know what was going on there. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. That was just a weird thing with that one, but I like these ponds, but maybe I'm gonna have to wait for some rain or some a little bit cooler temperatures here in Texas before I hit these, but maybe I'll hit them with some worms and see what lives in here because you never can go wrong with worms. But let me know what you guys think in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.